In this video, I am going to explain anatomical relationship of rhomboid and serratus anterior. This is rhomboid and this is serratus anterior. Serratus anterior. These two muscles are both shoulder girdle muscles that attach on scapula. These two muscles are kind of in yang relationship because function of each muscle is completely different. So let's review functions of these two muscles. What is function of serratus anterior? That does abduction of scapula and upward rotation of scapula. Abduction and upward rotation. Abduction is you bring scapula outward. Upward rotation is kind of this directional rotation. Okay? Abduction and upward rotation. And let's think about rhomboid. Functions of rhomboid is adduction, adduction, and downward rotation. Downward rotation. So these are completely different. Abduction, upward rotation, adduction, and downward rotation. So these two muscles are completely opposite. If one of muscle gets tight, that can affect for another muscle. Let's say when rhomboid gets tight, scapula is going to this way and it stacks in this position, adducted position and downward rotation position. So let's say this is very, very tight. Then what's going to happen to serratus anterior? Scapula is broad this way. So serratus anterior is stretched and stabilized that position. This is too strong and this is weak. Okay, vice versa. If serratus anterior is too tight, Scapula is broad, abduction and upward rotation. Then rhomboid is stretched and being weak. So this is like plus, this is like minus. On the other hand, if rhomboid is too tight, this is plus and this is minus. See this relationship? These two relationship is very, very important. And there's another interesting relationship. Rhomboid attaches on medial border of scapula. And imagine serratus anterior attaches in front of scapula and very close to medial border. Imagine this dot line is on anterior part of scapula. So these two places are very, very close, you know, this area this area. Each attachment is very, very close. So some people consider there is myofascial connection between serratus anterior and rhomboid. You can see this kind of relationship in internet. So please look it up. Like, like you Google serratus anterior and rhomboid relationship. You can find bunch of relationship about myofascial connection. So if you consider myofascial connection, if serratus anterior gets tight, you know, there's serratus anterior in front of scapula, maybe rhomboid can be affected due to myofascial connection. I was talking about functional relationship in fast part. Like if this side gets tight, this side can be affected, you know, this kind of plus minus 
relationship. But I am talking about myofascial connection as one continuous structure. Okay, so this whole part can be tightened up due to myofascial connection. You see this relationship? So you can see different angle of these two relationship, functionally or myofascial anatomy. Anyway, anyhow, this relationship is very, very important for scapular movement. In this video, I explained relationship between serratus anterior and rhomboid. This place is so, so important. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.